because you'll miss any more delicious food. Hey guys, how's it going? It's good here. How's it going on your end? So, welcome to my channel. I'm Veggie Girls. If this is your first time stopping by, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It looks like this and the little notification bell next to it so you'll be notified every time a new video goes up, which is Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. So, in today's video, I'm going to be making a stuffed mushroom recipe. And this is a stuffed walnut mushroom, mushroom stuff, stuffed walnut mushroom, walnut stuffed mushrooms. No? Stuffed mushrooms with walnuts. Anyways, it's going to be awesome and delicious and super duper 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 easy to whip up. So you're going to be able to hook this thing up and serve it party, whatever, or just because you want to eat it all for yourself and not tell anyone. Shh, I ain't saying nothing. Okay, let's get busy. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get started with our mushrooms, and I'm just using these like ginormous uh, white button mushrooms that I got at my local produce place. Um, if you can't find like really big uh, white button mushrooms, you can use like any other large mushrooms. You could also do uh, portobello mushrooms. Uh, if you can't find bigger mushrooms, or it doesn't really matter, you can actually stuff the small mushrooms, um, just regular button mushrooms or regular like baby portobello mushrooms. Um, it doesn't really matter what mushroom you use to stuff them, as long as they have like you know a little space to be stuffed, and that'll just it'll just determine like how many you have. So if you have smaller ones, you're obviously gonna get more uh, stuffed mushrooms. So I've already destemmed these, and next I'm just going to wipe these off with a little damp cloth. You don't want to put your mushrooms in water because they will soak up all the water and then they won't pick up any flavor and they'll get soggy. Next I'm going to go ahead and just place our mushrooms onto our baking tray. Oh and before we set this aside I totally forgot that I was going to go ahead and sprinkle on some soy sauce into the mushrooms like into the little ribs of the mushrooms and that is just so that it can soak up some flavor which it's going to like marinade while we make the filling. You can use your fingers to make sure it gets into the ribs if you like. So next we're going to go ahead and work on our filling which is super duper easy. So I'm going to be using four slices of stale bread and I'm using uh, just regular whole wheat. Um, you can use white bread or any kind of bread, even like gluten-free bread if, if that's what you're using. You can use any bread at this point. So four slices of that. You're also going to use one cup of walnuts. And I'm adding this into my food processor. And then for our spices, we're going to be adding a teaspoon and a half of garlic powder, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two teaspoons of dry basil, and then I also have a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. And as usual, the link to the full recipe will be down below. I'm also going to be adding half a tablespoon of nutritional yeast and two teaspoons of vegetable oil. You can use olive oil or any oil you like. You could also use melted butter. And we're going to go ahead and blend this up. And you want to blend it until everything is nice and crumbled up like that. And you're going to still have pieces of walnuts that are not like crumbled up. I started with chopped walnuts to make it a little easier, but uh, this is the consistency you want. And next we're going to simply go ahead and stuff these guys. You want to be pretty generous and then you want to like pack them in there. Alright guys, so I had just enough filling to make about three more of these um, and next, I actually another thing that I forgot to mention is that I oiled or greased the bottom of the pan so it doesn't stick and my oven has been preheating at 375 degrees and I'm going to go ahead and cover this up with some aluminum foil and we're going to go ahead and place this into the oven for 30 minutes and then we're going to go ahead and uncover it and then place it in for another 10 minutes. Ahead and take these, took these out of the oven, but I'm gonna go ahead and just uncover these. Oh, they smell so good! And I'm just gonna go ahead and check to see if they're softening. Yep, 
So far, so good. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and place these back into the oven for about 10 to 15 minutes. So this has been cooking for 10 minutes and we are all set, ready to go. These are all done. So you may already know what time it is. It is time for a taste test cam. So here we go. Mm. Whoa. You guys have to try, try these stuffed mushrooms. You know why? Because they are jam-packed with flavor. Ugh, it's like a flavor explosion. Delicious. Give it a try. Let me know what you think. So that's it. That is how I make my stuffed mushrooms with walnuts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. Also, share this video so other people can see how delicious vegan food could be and that it could be easy. So, uh, yeah, I will talk to you guys very soon. Thanks again for watching. Bye.